we're continuing to look at how you can add different kinds of content to your OneNote pages. And I'm going to go ahead and just click on New Page here to give myself a new, um, a new page to put information on. And I'm just going to name that New Page. And we were looking at the Insert tab before, and we saw a number of these different items that you could work with. You also can insert audio comments or videos into your um, page. So if you prefer to verbally speak the notes or um, ideas or whatever, you can just simply click on record audio right here. And if you want to do, if you have a webcam, you could even record a video of yourself um, or of um, something. Um, and place that in your OneNote page. And again, video I don't think uh, anybody's really going to get much use out of, but audio can be a very useful thing if you're brainstorming or you just want to um, get something into your notebook really quick. Instead of having to type it out and format it and getting it the way you want, you can just simply click on record audio and uh, add an audio note to your um, to your page. You also have the ability to insert the current date and time anywhere on a page. So let's say I was taking notes here and I wanted to indicate the date and the time. I can click on date, I can click on time, or I can click date and time and it would insert both of them there. And I can delete those very easily if I wanted to. You also have the option to insert equations here or symbols. And equations is beyond the scope of what we're going to be doing in uh, this video series, but this might be something, if you're in the maths or sciences, you would uh, want to look at. Symbol, on the other hand, has a number of useful symbols here that you can insert into your document. You can also click here on More Symbols, and this dialog box will appear. And again, if you've used Microsoft Word in the past, you know how to select different fonts to get the symbols that you want. Um, I think most of us have seen before that there are certain fonts inside of our computer that are nothing but symbols. Um, for instance, Wingdings is a very popular uh, font on Windows computers. And if you're on a Mac, Monotype Sorts is a very familiar font that is just a basic collection of symbols here. You also have um, the font normal text here, which is basically just a simple set of symbols here. And I can scroll up and down and see more of the symbols that are in this set. You can see I've got a wide variety of accented characters there. Or I can click this drop down and I'm going to go all the way to the bottom. And there's that Wingdings font that most people have seen before. And you've got all those symbols here. So if I wanted to go ahead and grab, um, you know, the uh, symbol, let's say I want this, uh, uh, I want this uh, pirate symbol right here. I can just go ahead and click on that, click insert, and then close, and now I got a little pirate symbol right there. I highlighted it because I want to make it a little bit bigger. I can go to home, I can click that drop down and select like. 48 points and the symbol gets bigger. So you've got these options up here inside of the insert bar as well. And again, record audio, very useful. Symbol, very useful. Um, and those should definitely be a couple of things that you um, check out when you're looking at Microsoft OneNote. You also have a draw option right here. And what the draw option will allow you to do is actually create symbols in different kinds of shapes. You've got um, a number of different paint brushes up here at the top, and you also have some shapes over here. I can scroll through those shapes, or I can click that drop down arrow there, and I can see different kinds of shapes there as well. So for some reason or other, you wanted to draw some lines, let's say to make a map, you can click on that and go ahead and draw yourself out some lines. Whoops. Not the most efficient way to do that, but you can see you can draw yourself lines, boxes, circles, whatever it is you want there. You can change the color and the thickness of the line, or you can highlight if you want as well. 
So let's say um, this oval here, I want to change the color of the line around it to red. I'll go ahead and select that right there and I'm going to choose that thickness and I now have a red oval. So these are useful there. And you again, you have the different pen styles and highlight colors over here that you can choose from as well. So for example, I'm going to come back in here to this page and I can click on this option right here and uh, drag and you'll see I get some yellow highlight um, on my page. And if I wanted to undo that, I can do that. Let's choose the blue highlighter there. And again, this is just a highlighter, just like a pen, that you can work with on that. So that's kind of useful um, option as, um, as well. You have an eraser right here. So I can click on eraser and I can come in here and, whoops, there we are, eraser, and I can come in here and erase the different highlighting as well.